some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have Denver Metro audits and a couple of his Karens that show up at a mall during a private event. And there is an officer there that politely explains to them that this is a private event and that the mall is currently closed to the public. But DMA takes exception to this and he decides to start causing a little bit of trouble. But in this case, the officer is on to his little game and doesn't take any of it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, the Mile High Auditor. We are here today at the Colorado Convention Center here in Denver, downtown. We've got the famous blue bear right there. I'm here with the lovely Sweet Tea Audits. And we're also here with a subscriber, Zach, who reached out to me. He's the one that told me about this place. He came over here and they kicked him out. So he reached out and we're just gonna go check it out, guys, and see how it goes. Shout out to the sponsor of this video, our friend Russ Topol. Thanks for your continued support on our channel, bro. We really appreciate you. A fool and his money are soon parted. And if you're going to give your money to this moron, then you're a damn fool. For information on how to sponsor a video, check out my memberships. The link is in the description. So I've been here a few times, guys. Uh, my sister had some competitions and stuff here. I've been here for some car shows. They have all kinds of cool stuff here. As you can see, this building is huge. It's massive. It's uh, I'm not. I don't remember how many square feet it is, but it's it's in the millions. And. This building was built in 1990, it cost $7 million, and then they, they did an expansion on it in 2004, which cost $350 million. Allow me to jump in the heads of your subscribers right now, DMA. I'm getting one word out of this, and I think I know what it is. I think it is boring. Your subscribers don't want to know that stuff. They just want to see you get arrested. They want to see confrontation. They want to see anger. They don't want to hear boring statistics. But I do, but that's a different story altogether. So it's definitely a very expensive project here for the taxpayers. This is uh, owned by the city and county of Denver, so which means it's, it's owned by me and you. Hey. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good, do you have your credentials? Credentials? Yeah. Like what, like press pass or what? No, everybody here has credentials for the event. Okay. Do you have your credentials, all three of you? I don't have credentials. Oh, well, it's closed today to a private event to the Charles Schwab people. So you guys will have to go outside or go to registration to get registered. Okay, so we have to register? Yeah, you gotta register. Okay, so it's paid event. Paid event, yes, sir. Got you. Okay. Yeah, it's closed to the public today. Got you. Yep. Can Thank I get, you. Yeah, no problem. Can I get your name and badge number? Yep. It's Sergeant Jason Kerrigan. Okay. Badge number 9324. Thank you, sir. Ma'am? Sergeant, or no, sorry, Officer Therese 20022. Thank you, ma'am. Sir? Detective Estrada, badge 96050. Thank you, sir. And yep. for the sergeant, can I get your card? Yep. Before Absolutely. we go? Absolutely. Last one. Last Perfect one. Timing. We gotta share it. <laughs> gotta share it. Sorry. Oh, okay. The last one. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. I just handed a oh, couple out. Of you're a detective. Hour ago. A sergeant and a detective. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. Most people, well, most normal people, would take a look at this and realize, oh, place is closed to the public today. Well, I'll come back another day. But this is DMA we're talking about here. He doesn't have the capacity to think in logical and rational means. 
he's always got to take the illogical route and try to act like the asshole. And what district is this? Six? You, district this six? is District 6, but I run the bomb squad. Bomb squad? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're, we're going to get out of here, man. Great. Thank okay. you. Thank you. You guys have a good day. You too. Appreciate it. Be safe. All right, guys, so it's a private event here. So if you can see, everyone has the little pass there, Zach. See what I'm saying? And I talked to Regan about this. She kind of said she wasn't sure about it, so. It's weird that, though, you don't have any signage or anything stating that. Right. You know, really strange. See, if you see, every single person has a credential. No, nice. So it is a private event, so that's kind of what, it's not like open to the public, open to the public, you know what I mean? So, you know, my problem is, though, is just the fact that we're a taxpayer, you know what I mean? Right. So we're just not allowed to go in. Let me just call Regan real quick before yeah. we... <laughs> it's like, they still have private events and stuff like that. They do. Wait a second. He's calling Regan Benson over this to get legal advice? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, like, that'll even work out for you. Okay, good luck with that. This guy right here is taking a picture of yep, us. Right that's, that's going to be... Oh! That's not good. Please no, come here. Come over here, please. Yeah. You, I need to talk to you. He sure did. I'm gonna ask for some calls. Do you want me to go with you? Yeah. Oh shit. Hey, Sergeant, I got a good question for you, man. Uh, are you going outside are and you ask it to me? Are you pro on the clock right now or is this private security? I was just wondering because yeah, I saw you taking a picture of me and it's against your policy to take pictures of us. When no, it's on not. Duty. Please head outside I, and I'll your, talk to you where I asked or your, you to be before. Is that your personal phone or your private phone? Please head outside where I asked leave. you to be before and I'll come, come out, and let's talk, talk to you. Let's go talk. Yeah, we asked you to come but out and instead of summonsing me, you could ask me a question. I was trying to ask you what you were ignoring. Sir, why do you have to have that attitude? I don't have any attitude. You are. Everything was fine. Everything was fine. You've come back inside. Yeah, because I asked you to come over here. Remember, I gestured for you. What kind of questions do you need me to do? This guy's actually being cool, and I'm a minority that's supposed to be against these guys. Thank you. You guys are not in a public place. You do not have permission. This is a public place. Really? That's why we no. came outside. No, 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 no. This is not a public really, place. Sir? It's not owned by the city. Uh, I tried to. I tried Maybe to ask me a logical question one at a time. You okay. first. I tried to gesture for you. Did you come over here? And you, you told me, me come here. I said, can you come over here? And then you came in where we've just asked exactly you to leave. Exactly because you wouldn't come out here because I need to ask you a question. What is your question? Well, I have two questions. Number okay. one. Are you on duty or are you doing private security right now? I am on duty right okay. now. Do you so know why I'm I, on duty I, right now? Because I, now I'm investigating a trespassing complaint okay. because you're trespassing. So I, I actually read your policy, all 800 pages of it. Great. You're not allowed, it's against your policy to take pictures of me unless you suspect me of a- As many videos as I've watched of you idiots thinking that you know policies and laws, I'm going to ask, start asking for citations every time you say something like that. And I'm going to ask for it in either MLA format or ASA format, whichever I feel like at the time. Crime? Not true. And also, I just need to know if it's your personal phone or your or your business phone because that I'm going to be do my a FOIA phone. request. Okay. But you have the phone number too on my card, okay, which we're I we're going to head down to, to the office right now. Great. I already do a public card request on the picture. It sounds great. Okay, but man, I mean, it's a good Everything one. was fine when we were in you there. If you'd like. Oh, yeah, send it to me. Okay. Give me your card with your phone number. Well, I'll give you my email. Uh, an email. Go ahead and give me your card. I'll give you your phone number and send it to you. No problem. Oh, officer, you don't need his card because there's no vital information on it anyway. No way to get in contact with him. Well, you're going to write it down? What else do you need? Email. What's your other question? Do you see how, like, the initial conversation we had was really cordial and respectful? And we were cool, and you asked us to take us a private event, we left. Yes, he did take a picture of you, but that was only to make sure that if anything happened later down the road, that he would have evidence that he talked to you guys. I mean, that's logical right there. You went and took a, why would you take a picture of us? It's like out so of retaliation. So that I can show who I asked to leave in case you come back? But then what, but see your attitude now, how you're all like, your demeanor completely changed and like your true colors after came out. you summons me to come out yeah, here because i'm a member of the public and you're Great. a public servant can i get back to what i'm and supposed you serve to the do? public right do you have anything that i can help you with yeah police i'm still related? in the middle of talking to you and you're is there any police related problem that you yes. have right now there's police related problem right what now. is it 
So as, as you are a police officer, you serve the public, and I'm a member of the public, so I just want to ask you some questions. Do you need service? Do you need any I need police you to, services? I need you to stop interrupting me because I'm, I'm in the middle of talking and then you keep okay. talking over but me. But I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of doing other things. Why don't you guys go ahead and back to the there things that go. we're supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing other things. If you don't need something real, if you just want to antagonize me, then I don't need to stay here and do that. If you need something I can help you with, I'm more than happy to help you. Why do you, why do you, there's, you're not unique in this. Why do a lot of officers think that I'm trying to antagonize? Why would do you, you think need, that? Do you need police services, sir? Yeah, I was asking you why all of a sudden your attitude That's went from nice and cordial all the way to 180 no and now you're just like a rude asshole. What happened? Why is well, that? I'm sorry that you think that. I definitely disagree. And I've been doing this for over 30 years. So you've been a dick so like if that you for don't 30 years? Need it. Well, that's the pot calling the kettle black. Besides Glenn Serio, you're one of the biggest assholes on the internet. Anything, I'm going to go back to my regular so, job. So you've been an asshole like that for 30 years, man? Yeah, that's apparently crazy. Apparently so. Thank you. Wow, man. You should it. do better, man. We appreciate it. Do, treat members of the public with respect, Have man. Have a great day. You're a clown. You're Get a back to work, man. You're dismissed. Cowards. Summons over. Clowns over there, man. They can report me like that, right? Jeez. That guy's <laughs> Did you see that? His true colors just couldn't help but come out, dude. Like, he was cool in the beginning. Why couldn't he just be cool, man? Like, there's no need to take a picture of me. We left, like he said, right? You had a very good first experience, that's for sure. Wow. Am I? What? Being antagonistic? No. Okay. But see how that's his go-to? You're gonna come out here and be an antagonizer. It's like, why is that their go-to always that we're antagonizing? Right. I was very respectful and nice to him. I can't count how many videos of yours I've watched, but I've seen quite a pattern with you. You are always the antagonizer. I know you're never going to see this video, but here's a question for you. If so many people I encounter get angry and start having an issue with me, is it because of them or is it because of me? I would have to say it's you because you are an attention-seeking drama queen.